Hi, welcome back everyone. In this video we're going to do something where I will say straight at the beginning, be careful when doing it. We're having a look at how we can use jQuery in an Angular 2 application. Now it is possible and there are some use cases where you actually need that or you might need that, but be aware that it kind of goes against the nature of using a framework like Angular 2 to, to then mess around with jQuery because Angular 2 kind of is responsible for rendering and manipulating the DOM and if you're interfering with jQuery you might get some unwanted results. Nonetheless, as I said, there might be some use cases where you actually need jQuery or where it really helps you or where it's a little workaround and it is fine to use jQuery and therefore I want to show you how, how easy it is to use jQuery in an Angular 2 application but again when using it be careful and think about it if there isn't another possibility without jQuery. So enough of the warnings what are we going to do or how are we going to do that? Actually, implementing jQuery in an Angular 2 application is pretty, pretty simple. First step is, as you can see, I got my running empty boilerplate here. First step is to head over to, well, to jQuery, to the website. And here I just want to grab those links here. I'm not going to download it right now. And in my index.html file, I'll copy them in right above all the other imports. Now obviously inserting them at the body or downloading them first place would be better but that's just how you integrate it, right? So not going to mess around with all the importing stuff here. Now what I'm going to do is I will create a new component which we'll just call jQuery component and in this file and this newly created file, well I will as always create um, the class of my component which I will call jQuery component and now to actually make it a component I will add my my decorator, my component decorator and as always make sure you get this import of component from Angular 2 core, it's automatically done for me in my IDE and then what I want to do here is um, I need a selector and I will just call it my jQuery kind of using that my prefix to make sure that I'm not interfering with any other third party um, packages I might include or anything like that so that's a good behavior to use a prefix and then um, well I need a template and this template all I want to do is just to show how to use jQuery, I'll add a button and when we click this button I want to show an alert and now yes I'm aware I could just do this with pure Angular 2 but it's just to show how to use jQuery. Now there is one thing I have to do to use jQuery in this file without getting all kinds of compilation or TypeScript errors and that is I declare a variable up here called jQuery type var and what this does is it not type var type any excuse me what this does is um, it basically tells TypeScript hey I'm using this jQuery var and even though it's not initialized in this file, it is existing. That's kind of the translation of it. And now what I can do in my, in my class, I will inject a reference to, to my DOM, so to say, to this template here. I can do this in, a, in, a, in an Angular 2 component by just binding it to this private property here. And I'm injecting a reference to this element so to this component in the DOM, to the HTML code, so to say, by using element ref here in my constructor. This will give me such a reference. And now I can, for example, in the on init um, lifecycle hook, which I'm implementing here, or I'm implementing the, 
interface and then the respective method ng on init. And in this method, what I will do is I'll use my jQuery um, be a variable kind of I created here. So that's like the dollar sign. You can think of, of it like this. So if you're used to using the dollar sign, then you would specify here your selector like an element which has ID. Now in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to select our element reference and there the native element which stands behind it, so to say. So this expression here will give us our component in the HTML code, so an HTML element, so to say. And then I just want to find my button here and attach a click event to it where I open a alert box where I say it works. Yay. Okay, let's see this in action. Oh, let's see it in action when I actually implement it here. So here I'm uh, embedding my, my jQuery component I just created. And of course, I'm also adding it here to the directives array. jQuery, oops, jQuery component. Also make sure you got that import. Now I get this button and if I click it, I get it works. Okay, so that's how easy it is to use jQuery in an Angular application. I'm not going to repeat all the warnings I said at the beginning. Just be careful or think about it when you use it. And if you're deciding you need jQuery, well, this is how you can interact with it in an Angular 2 application. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, obviously, please follow me on Facebook or Twitter, subscribe to this channel, or since today, also, if you want to go deeper into Angular 2, deeper than it is possible for me in this channel here, be sure to check out my Udemy course if you're interested in this. You'll find a link to it in the description below. See you in the next videos. Bye.